bring another great edition of Black Apps 2 for me to you, the MSMC. This map in Call of Duty, Black Ops 3, you're waiting in 2015. I mean, 2015 is going to be a very crowded release date. I don't really know. I think this is what Vaughn's going to do. And the reason I'm talking about this is because, you know, this is a Treyarch game. And usually when you make a Treyarch game, you know, David Von Der Hart, uh, non-confrontational... -conf non He's not going to take on any modern warfare or anything come, you know, 2015. I'm looking at Advanced Warfare. It's a completely different game. Advanced Warfare from, let's say, Black Ops 3. Let's just, let's just go there. So, Advanced Warfare, you're going to see a lot of shit coming out. E3 in about a month and a half. Well, in less than a month. I don't know, E3 is June 14th or something like that. So E3, you got a lot of news coming out. So you have uh, Advanced Warfare, and I did an extended trailer, not extended trailer. I did a, I did a, it was like a like a little mini fist cinema on my F2ST channel. I basically put some music to a trailer that I would like to watch Advanced Warfare, and I I'm gonna like I'm going to like Advanced Warfare, and I don't dislike Call of Duty Ghost. I don't dislike Call of Duty Ghosts. For here's the reason why I don't like Call of Duty Ghosts because there's no one to play on, on, on Call of Duty Ghosts. I think Call of Duty Ghosts is one of the best Call of Duties ever made, but the problem is there's no one on there to play it, so it's self defeating, and I, you know, it it hurts my feelings. So I don't want to play it because I don't play Call of Duty every single day, eight hours a day, like I used to. So if you don't play Call of Duty eight hours a day every day, and here's where everybody gets pissed off. So if you don't play Call of Duty Ghost every day, and then you go on there and there's nobody on there, and it's just the people who are on there playing eight hours a day, they have nothing else to do with their life, then you're going to get pissed off because you're going to get your ass wrecked. So there's not enough filler players in there to just whoop on. See, the great thing about all the other Call of Duty before it before them was the fact that you could go on there, play Call of Duty, and you could play Call of Duty, and there would be fillers in there. You could beat guys that were casual that would play like you. I think Advanced Warfare is going to be just like Titanfall, just like uh, in the sense, now listen to what I'm saying, not the game, in the sense that it's going to be not too many people. And when I say not too many people... I want to tag it with the tribal word. And tribal means there's just a group of people that like the game. It's not liked by the majority. And the reason why <coughs> and the reason why advanced warfare isn't going to be liked by the majority is for the simple fact that it's not Call of Duty. So if it's not Call of Duty, then you're going to have to spend more time invested into it. And how many people have time to invest in Call of Duty if it's not Call of Duty. You see my point? If it's Advanced Warfare, it's a completely different game. So they're going to be pissed at it like they're going to be pissed at Call of Duty Ghost. It's not going to be any different. It might be a great visual awesome game and there's going to be those crowds of people that are going to like it, but it's not going to be the Call of Duty fans. And it's not going to be the Call of Duty fans. That means that you're not going to be that you're not going to be able to just casually play it, and the people who casually play it are not going to be able to have fun, and they're going to bitch about it. So I think that's what a lot of people get confused about when I'm sitting there like, oh, you, you always buy Call of Duty every year, blah, 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 blah. No, I mean, I buy it, and I examine it based on my history of playing the game, and then I regurgitate it to you guys and tell you where where it stands in the logical, uh, chronological order of Call of Duties. Now, if you took the chronological orders of Call of Duty, Call of Duty 4, World at War, blah, 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 you lined them all up all the way up to Modern Warfare 3 almost, they are basically all the same, or Black Ops 2, almost up to Black Ops 2. They were basically the same game, Call of Duty. Now, Modern War now Ghost and um, you can't get kill streaks, so your kill streaks ain't killing people, so people don't like that. And I like Gun on Gun. I love the game. People just don't like that because... They're not playing every day. 
So they're not used to the working on perfecting their aiming skills. You know, so if a guy gets lucky, he sits in the corner, he gets a kill streak, then he can go ham on you. He can't do that anymore. So that's a problem. So now, Advanced Warfare versus Black Ops 3, World at War 2, whatever Treyarch is going to do, I'm sure it's going to be a World War 2 game. Because David Von Der Haar is a non-confrontational type person. And he's not going to want to battle all the next-gen games coming out in 2015. Treyarch is handed the hardest task of battling every other franchise out there that is going next-gen. So what are they going to do? Everything's going to be space, future, advanced warfare, blah, 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 blah. It takes a moron, a complete idiot, not to realize that Black Ops 3 World at War 2 is going to be a World War 2 game. That's how a game with a name is going to differentiate itself from all the next-gen space Shooter, Destiny, blah, 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 Battlefield 5, blah, 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 blah. Do you get it? So it's only obvious that is what's going to happen. That's what we're going to see. So now you take Advanced Warfare versus World War II. Advanced Warfare is not a Call of Duty game. So here's my predictions. I think that Treyarch's game is going to be a Call of Duty game with an eSports emphasis. Head glitching, uh, head glitching city. eSports weapons. That means you're only going to have one or two weapons that are going to be powerful. Snipers are going to be ridiculously overpowered in David Von Der Haar's Treyarch game because all he cares about is not listening to people cry. <clears throat> and whoever has the biggest voice in the community, which is snipers, that's going to be prevalent in the game. Esports, because they're all on his nuts and they cry to him and blah, blah, blah. That's what it's going to be. And so he doesn't have to battle against next-gen games. It's going to be a World War II game. So you're not even, even though it's going to be a Call of Duty game, you as a casual consumer of the game who comes home who likes to play the game and doesn't have to practice to play Call of Duty because you're used to playing all the Call of Duties over all these years are going to get your ass kicked by snipers. And it's going to be frustrating and you're going to and you're going to put down the controller based on that. But you're going to get suckered into buying the game because the whole scheme and the marketing plan is going to be and you come back to this video. Save this video. Mark my words on everything that I'm telling you right now. You haven't played the game yet, Fist. How do you even know? You didn't know what it's going to be. I know what it's going to be. Like I said, a moron can figure it out. So that's what David Von Der Treyarch's game is going to be. World War II, no regards to snipers. They're going to be overpowered. Head glitching everywhere. One or two weapons for esports. That's it. World War II, the only reason why the mantra is going World War II is so his game can gimmick you and sell you in marketing, the casual consumer, us, me, you, to buy this game because it's Call of Duty and we went back to World War II. But no regards of, of gameplay and, and fluidity of, of for the casual player. So you're going to get screwed on that end. Now, what I can say is that I can say that Treyarch's game is going to be worse than Advanced Warfare. And this is why, after I explain the two things to you, is that Advanced Warfare is going to be a completely different game. It's not going to be Call of Duty. So on that basis and premise alone, I would rather play Advanced Warfare over Treyarch's game, which is going to be a Call of Duty game that is going to bait and switch you and lie to you and have everything broken in it before it even... It is going to be planned that way. But marketing is going to tell you different. 
And you're going to have, you got to remember, Star Wars, Battlefront, Battlefield 5, uh, Advanced Warfare, everything is coming out. Star Wars is dropping the same time the movie comes out. How is he going to compete against that? Disney, Star Wars, Battlefront, Battlefield 5, EA is going to go off 2015. And what other next gen, Crytek, Homefront 2, where what where is where's Vaughn and Trey are gonna be? World War II. That's it. Anyways, that's my gist on it. I think both games you're gonna be pissed at, but I think Advanced Warfare is gonna be better because it's just gonna be a completely different game. And I'd rather play a completely different game that is not bounded by the rules of Call of Duty and just be a different game, period. That's my opinions. Those are all my opinions. Mark this video down, everything I said in it, and come back 2016. You're here at 2016 watching this video. You can say, yes, Fist was right. Until next time, peace. I'm out.